We finally got our first look at one of the multiplayer maps for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and this is the Marina Bay Grand Prix map. Now, this map looks absolutely incredible and honestly gets me really, really excited for Modern Warfare 2. I wasn't too excited for Modern Warfare 2 because, well, by golly, if you guys know me, you know that I really hate the color palette of Modern Warfare games. I mean, you know, the gray and the brown and also the gray that they have in there. I mean, and they, oh, they also mix it up sometimes and go with like a brown as well. So it's nice to see a map that has a little bit more color and a little bit more character inside of this game. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna complain that, oh my gosh, it's not realistic. There was never a war fought here. And I don't know about you guys. I am my own person. Obviously, your opinions are your own, but I am super, super cool with them having a map that isn't in a war-torn area. I think the most fun maps in Call of Duty history are maps where they really weren't a war-torn area to begin with. People love a map like Nuketown. People love a map like Mayhem and Vanguard. People love a map like High Rise, so on and so forth. Just these maps that probably aren't where you would have some sort of battle in the middle of a war, but they make for really, really fun maps to play inside of this game. Now, there's a lot coming with Modern Warfare 2, and we're gonna break that down a little bit over the next few days. But this is the first look that we had at it, and it's releasing obviously October 28th. We're going to be seeing a lot more of this map as people go to the Call of Duty Next conference on September 15th to play Modern Warfare 2 for the first time, have access to the beta, so on and so forth. Of course, we will have beta gameplay here once we can finally get access to it. Personally, as a Zombies content creator, I was really struggling with what the heck we are going to do with zombies content or just this channel as we go into modern warfare 2 but this map gets me a heck of a lot more excited especially if you guys are down for some uh multiplayer content which you guys very well might not be Suck. but also just the idea of the dmz mode they're going to be adding and the spec ops they're going to have looking at a map like this that has a ton more color really does make me hopeful for this game it makes me feel like this is a game I personally will enjoy a lot more than I have in the past. I thought Modern Warfare 2019 was atrocious. I absolutely despise that game. Again, I know a lot of people didn't, and I know that's not, I am not in the majority there, but that game specifically was just so bland to me. It tasted like I was eating, let's, let me think here. Like you guys ever just like put cardboard in your mouth? That's kind of how it felt to play that game. It just felt like I was eating cardboard. Does that make any sense to you guys? Like putting a dry piece of cardboard in your mouth and being like, wow, that's what that that is how Modern Warfare 2019 felt to me. So Modern Warfare 2022 is going to be a heck of a lot more fun, in my opinion, just based off this one little glimpse of map that we got. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with that or are you thinking I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon.